and today we are back in Google Earth but this time it isn't to show you some cool things as you can see I have all the labels removed and that is for one reason and one reason in particular remember when I showed you these four options that you can do Earth, Sky, Mars, or Moon well there are more go online and you can either look up so you can just go onto this website called Google Earth blog and what you do what you can do is you can check out different planets um, and the way that works I don't really know how I got to it in the first place which is weird um but just keep on looking through it and you might find some other stuff like let's see here including oh yeah so right here we're in this list you have you have the um, possibility of getting these moons of Jupiter Mercury the Sun and also Pluto what you want to do is let's say I want to get hmm, the Sun Google Sun now I would click this KML file and you can see that it shows up in this corner right here and boom it's right here now if you're on a Mac or all this pretty much is, has to do with Mac so control click and click open and it'll open up onto your Google Earth and just want to give it a second and boom you have Google Sun and I also have some others for you including Pluto New Horizons visited or at least passed by Pluto last year or no, now two years ago in 2015 and got the first ever close-up of Pluto and also Sharon or Karen, I don't know how you pronounce it, its biggest moon and also two of its other small moons, Hydra and Nix. Um, but Pluto was one of the most interesting because of this heart-shaped area and these are actually glaciers of frozen nitrogen and carbon dioxide and you can even see the shaping of it, the molding of it. It isn't all that clear but don't let that be a bother because you can see so many cool things um, crater, crater, crater mountain range over here these mountains, these rocky areas and then this flat ice sheet with all these cool plate shaped things craters, craters big crater, big crater and this big blurry area and this area that wasn't imaged um, that isn't a problem even an eye look, eyeball looking crater and you can just investigate it. I mean, this is the area that was imaged the clearest. Um, so you can look at it. I uh, can see that there are these areas where there's like rocks sticking out in between the plates of ice. Um, there are mountains like this one right here is actually, wait, let's see here. It could be like one of those fancified exclamation points. Could be a water droplet almost, or even a carrot. Uh, and sorts of stuff. Stuff. I don't know why I said that. Um, I don't know why this kind of sticks out like that. But yeah, you can look at Pluto. Google Pluto. Amazing. And now I also have Mercury. Boom! We have Mercury from Messenger. Um, so I think this is like the current location of Messenger. Maybe. I don't know. There's. So this one is clear, of course. Um, but yeah. What else I find cool is um, that you can also have these overlays. So you can actually. I'm going to remove that. You can actually check out these different craters. Like this one. Theophanes, um, let's see here, or origin, so it was named after a Byzantine painter, diameter, um, longitude, latitude, type, and all this, blah, 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 and then you can go learn more about it, um, and, hey, look at these two twin craters here, Zhaoshao and Eastman, one is Chinese, one is English, origin name. Um, actually, I want to see where Zhao Zhao comes from. Uh, Chinese painter. That's cool. 
Got it, laddie. Ready, laddie. Letile Desang Botswana playwright and poet. Also, that guy was from Botswana. Cool. Um, Nawahi, Hawaiian, native Hawaiian painter. Liguria, I think that's a place in Italy. Albedo name for an unimaged H4 region. I don't know what that is. Munch, <laughs> Poe, Edgar Allan Poe, of course. Um, so some of these you can actually tell what they're meant to be named after. Cunningham, Pantheon, Fosse, which makes sense. Um, let's see here. I know that Schiaparelli, uh, let's see here. I'm going to try and find some place, some creators that are named after people that I know. Mark Twain, uh, Schoenberg. Um, Michelangelo, um, let's see here, any more? Rude, <laughs> rude, it's funny. Um, Raphael, another painter, a lot of these are artists. Let's see. Hmm, any more, any more, any more? Um, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, that's a, that's a really, Brahms, um, I don't know what that is, Van Dyke, yeah, Van Dyke, um, Bjornsson, um, I think that was a, wait, Bjornsson, sounds Swedish, let's see, oh, Norwegian poet and dramatist. Um, so yeah, there's some dark craters, and then there's some light craters, and stuff in between. That's really cool. So, now, this is, ooh, Van Gogh. Um, so yeah, um, you can do Chopin, Wagner. You can do this, um, if you have any kind of computer. This was just a sh tutorial to show you how to do it on the Mac, and then also showing you what some of it looks like. I'm, I like the Mercury one. This is pretty cool. And you can just, over here, you can just click off Pluto and then that, and you can just go back to Earth, and it won't disappear because you can just turn on Pluto again, or you can turn on Mercury. So, yeah, that was just a tutorial to show you how to uh, activate the other Google Earth layers besides these ones um, and also what they look like so if you liked it and you would like to check it out for yourself then the website is Google Earth blog um, dot com which is so yeah Google Earth blog dot com you can at least try to find it I don't even know how I found it in the first place but um well, I do. I looked up Pluto, Google Earth, and I got to the site, so I really don't know how to get to the planets. Um, but you can, you can try, try, or just look it up how I looked it up. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this little Google Earth tutorial. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and leave a comment in the comment section below for more videos like this. And um, if you find anything else interesting that has to do with Google Earth, just leave it in the comment section so that I can check it out and I can probably mention you um, in a future video. So.